Welcome to the Fields of Code tutorial series and to this tutorial, Creating a Referral Letter. It is recommended that you first view the Creating a Basic Report tutorial before viewing this tutorial. A referral letter template is a useful report to create. It saves time and makes the whole referral process easier. We'll start at the Reports Gateway, which is here on the left side of your screen. We have already created a clinic letterhead report, and to save time, we will create and edit a copy of that report. To do this, we locate and highlight our letterhead report found here, and then choose Copy from the right-hand side. Confirm the copy. And now the copy of our letterhead report is highlighted and selected. So we choose Open, and on the design template, we see that our clinic letterhead already has several data markers. The clinic name and logo, the clinic address, the clinic's phone and fax number, and a data marker for today, plus a separator line. So on the body of our referral letter, we are going to want to add data markers by using the Add One or More Data Markers to the Canvas from the toolbar at the top. And we are going to choose to add Patient's Address, the City, Province and Postal Code, their Home and Mobile Cell Phone Number, their Date of Birth, their first and last name, and what our patient has chosen as their preferred contact method. So I'm going to add these data markers, and I'll just take a moment to arrange them. Like so. And to identify this information for the doctor that we're sending the referral to, I'm going to add some text data markers by going to the top toolbar and choosing Add User Text to the Canvas. And to make these labels stand out a little bit more, I'm going to use the User Text Properties box found on the right, and I'm going to change the font by clicking on the Font Value column and choosing the Browse button. And I think I'm going to bold and underline my text headers. So I'm just going to continue and add a few more of those headers here. So what I've now added are text headers for the patient name, their date of birth, the home and mobile phone number, and just a note on how the patient prefers to be contacted. As well, you'll notice I've put a text header at the top stating it's a referral letter just to make it easier for the office staff to be able to organize it. Now what I'd like to do is add a text header stating reason for referral and then put underneath it some lines that the doctor can use to write the reason for referral onto the page. So I'll first add the text header. And like the other headers, I'll bold and underline it. And now at the top I use Add a Line to the Canvas. Drag and drop and then enlarge the line. And I'm just going to go ahead and do that for a few more lines. So I've added my three lines that my doctor can now write on. And now I'll just add it two more data markers, one for the referring doctor's name with a line underneath that the doctor can put his name or her name, and a space for the doctor's signature. And I'll just quickly add those two. So I've added those two text headers and the two lines, and I just wanted to point out a trick for trying to get these to line up evenly. 
If you eyeball this right now, they look like they're pretty even, but a better way to check is to click on the data marker and then use the user text properties. Now what I'm looking for in this case is where it is in relation to the top of the page. So here I can see that it's at 648 and if I go to the doctor's signature text header I see it's at 653. So they're not exactly lined up. So what I'll do is change the first one to equal the second one which is 653. And I can do the same thing with these two lines here. This one is at 701. And this one's also at 701, so I know that they're even. So I can take a look at my report by using Print Preview on the top toolbar here. And I can take a look at how my referral letter is beginning to look. Again, remembering that these are simply general data markers and don't show any information until they've been attached to the patient document. One further thing I might want to add is a copy of the patient's x-ray. And I can do that by adding an image data marker from the toolbar at the top, add an image to the canvas. And I'll drag this placeholder down to a better position. It would probably look better to add this image to the second page of the report. So to quickly increase my canvas and add that second page, I click on a blank spot on the canvas, and on the right-hand side I go to the Canvas Properties box, and I look, take the height and I double it. And that quickly adds my second page. I can see the second page by scrolling back up, and looking for this dotted line here, which tells me where the beginning of the second page is. So I'm going to take my image data marker and drag it down to the second page. Now this image data marker can be anything from a scanned PDF to an x-ray, and I'm going to add an x-ray in it now by going to the image properties box again at the right, choosing the image value column, clicking the Browse button, and then choosing my x-ray image. And there it is. So I'm going to make sure that I save this report by choosing the Save All Changes icon. And one last thing I want to do before I attach this report is to change the name from Clinic Letterhead, Copy Of, which right now is not very descriptive, by going to the Details icon here, and under Report Name, putting a more descriptive name, and saving it. To use this referral template, we would go to the Patient Document and open it. choose the Reports tab, the List Add and Remove Attached Reports from the toolbar, Add, and we add our new referral template. And to display this template, we use the drop-down box at the top and choose it. Now we see that the patient-specific data has been added and we can go to the Print Preview button and we can take a look at both pages of the report by choosing the Two Pages view from the top toolbar. And we can scroll across and take a look at both pages.